After months of applying and searching for lots of universities, Manti Teo received many full scholarship offers. He narrowed down his decision to BYU, UCLA, USC, and Notre Dame. On National Letter of Intent Day, ESPN flew to Hawaii to hear Manti Teo's final decision, Notre Dame. Uh, I, I'm relieved and I'm happy with my decision. Uh, I know it's the right one. Uh, I mean, football is life. Um, you know, without football, I don't think I, I'll be the same. And, uh, you know, you got to love the sport. You know, and, and I was always taught that, you know, if you play for, if you play the sport for something other than love, it's, you're not going to get that far. It's what motivates you to be the best. And, and I've always wanted to be the best. And it's the love that drives you. Manti is not receiving all this attention because of his athletic talent alone. He also works very hard at Punahou School. Founded in 1841, Punahou School enrolls over 3,750 students. Its mission is to develop each student's intellectual, academic, and physical potential. I love football, but I know that uh, in order to get to college, I need to get my academic straight. Uh, my, my, my parents have always said, you know, football is the, is the vehicle to, to college, and academics is the key, and without the key, the vehicle can't move. And so, uh, if I don't take care of my academics, uh, it's just a sitting car that's not going to go anywhere. Okay, and then, then we could solve. Mm -hmm. Then the you would DYO need DYO either, right? either Y or DY over DT, right. and then you solve for the other one. Oh, and they'll, they'll, give, us, they'll give us a Y or a DY over yeah. DT too, mm -hmm. and then we'll solve for whatever variable is not solved for. That's right. Sure. Sure. You got that? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I really enjoy having him in class. Uh, he participates a lot and is, he's a friendly and polite person and in particular he takes complete responsibility for his work. If he ever falls behind on something he holds no one but himself responsible and he catches up and he doesn't you know, create a stir for anyone about it. He has a long way to drive and that alone forces him to be disciplined and get good time management. I've known Manti since we were in Pop Warner and I've never met a guy who works as hard as Manti. But at the same time, he's, a, he's real humble and he gives all the credit to his family. When I'm prideful, I, I, I've noticed that I'm not coachable. And if you're not coachable, you won't grow as, a, as not only an athlete, but as a person. Manti's humility and positive attitude was developed early in life when he joined the Boy Scouts. That was just something I was taught by my parents and in the Boy Scout program, you know, service. Yeah, that's in, in our religion, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, that's, that's what it is. It's about service, serving your fellow man. And that's, that's basically uh, what I was taught. Now, let's hear some advice for student athletes to better succeed in class. One thing that is difficult for students who start to fall behind and don't do so well in school is not asking for help soon enough. Most teachers would be very happy to help you out if you come to them and say, I have questions on this, I know I'm falling behind. I mean, as a student, you have, you have to learn that you can't just take notes and then stash your notes and then come before the test and pull them out and, 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 and study it. You know, you have to once in a while regularly you know, check up on your notes. Um, you know, it's funny because uh, a kid from Radford actually emailed me on MySpace the other night and he was asking me what I did. Uh, to get to the level I was at and you know I took it as a compliment but then then I was kinda like you know let me give him some good advice so I told him basically be as disciplined as you are in football in the classroom if you take the classroom like you do practice you're gonna be successful in whatever you do no matter what I think if anything if I could tell anyone anything 
it would have to be to, you know, always work hard. And hard work, uh, there's a saying that I always keep in mind, it says hard work will beat talent when talent doesn't work hard. Back two years ago, I was sitting in my living room hoping that I'd get at least one offer. Because I knew that I had to go to college, you know, college is the only way that I can go. Um, but I needed academics because money is, you know, it's, it's expensive to go to college. And for high school uh, athletes out there, whatever sport you may be in, uh, work hard at your craft. You know, hard work would take you, you know, it would take you far. And, uh, you know, shoot for the stars. Shoot for the stars. If you fall short, you land on the clouds, as my dad always told me, so. Man, he's a beast among men. Kind of reminds me when I used to play high school football. Uh, 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 yeah, you were a beast on your back. <laughs> yes, kids. Now, this is serious. There are many of you out there who are great athletes in football, volleyball, wrestling, and other sports. And you have enough talent to play in college. So talk to your teachers, talk to your counselors, and get your academic life in order and be ready for the college application process. Game Plan Academy is coming this summer. It instructs athletes as well as their parents on application process, NCAA clearinghouse, and scholarship requirements, and much, much more. Next up, we'll see a day in the life of Trenson Nakana, who plays basketball for BYU Hawaii. Stay tuned so you can see what college life is like as a student athlete. Now, let's hear from our sponsors, which reminds me, is Chic or Gillette um, one of our sponsors? Yeah, we need to so we can shave your back. 